what a fantastic day nifty bank nifty atl hul icici yes there are certain days in an year it could be an event like election results or it could be a one off msci or ftc rebalancing day when billions of dollars enter or exit stock market in select stocks today was one of them ftsc decided to do a rebalancing about 1.5 billion dollars entered the stock markets in select stocks stocks like cochin shipyard hit 10% icic was a beneficiary it went up 4.5% overall it was a fantastic day in the stock markets to sell and i'll talk a bit more about it in the nugget section it's a philosophy which i've created over months and i've already released several videos on it the video may be slightly long hopefully you'll have patience to watch it or maybe watch it over the weekend but i think it will add a lot of value if you agree with the philosophy on lovely days like today you at times feel like chopping off one line and just enjoy the greens sbi has been sulking and it continues to sulk there was a period two months back when i decided to short sbi and that is where it went up like a rocket and i lost significant money in the options market mahindra and mahindra saw inflows icici bank saw inflows jsw steel was re-rated there were literally no laggards today just dmart sulking a little the top sectors by market cap are firing in all cylinders banking continues to be the best sector the interesting part is roughly around one o'clock it seemed that the party is over and everyone is going home but that is actually where the buying started look at icici at that time literally 1300 to 1360 in about one hour time this is a time when reliance also after correcting went up a bit hdfc bank now hdfc bank is firmly in the green now this is dangerous territory to be in because the event is over now the express buying which had to be complete by today that is done the people who joined the euphoria and bought in last half an hour one hour they will get stuck look at the volumes reliance 164 percent icici literally 5x now this is a model i released few months back in which i had contrasted what if there was a bull run which sectors will outperform at the top was banking construction engineering freight logistics metal they have not performed primarily because three months of elections i had not factored into the model aerospace and defense last one month it has cooled down but till the budget day most aerospace and defense stocks became 4x 5x if you have not seen the video then there are few more simulations for example for a recession i'll leave a link of the video in the description and comments the ftsc event was literally unknown for most of the people in fact most websites also published it around midday only most of us thought that the euphoria was from yesterday night in the us where every stock every index was partying nifty started well continued to go up continuously till that time it was still an okay day then it seemed like friday cool off was here till this point icic was an ordinary stock hul made another high atl made another high icici nifty made several all time highs so did bank nifty in this entire zone 1.5% trading range for the nifty but it would have been really dangerous to trade in today's market bank nifty's graph was nearly similar to nifty today that is because icic bank and hdfc bank were running both indices today the trading range was larger 1.8% most of the investors trading in atl have formally decided to get rid of the notion of pe one stock which did really well today was lnt it was above this line for the whole day zomato went up 4% another high defense pack was so happy for cochin shipyard which got the inflows that every stock decided to party musgaon dock was up 8% grsc was up 9% the inflows came only in cochin shipyard to my understanding jsw still got an upgrade it hit a high up whole day Hindustan Zinc was up two and a half percent. Even the steel stocks did well. Hindalco did well. Consumption pack went through the roof yet again. HUL hit a lifetime high. Britannia, Marico. Today the volumes and percentage gains were pretty good for most stocks. Look at Gillette's volume six x. Towards the end of the day, Kfin Tech went on fire. It was up four and a half percent. PSC was up another seven and a half percent. while i feel bad missing out on the money because i sold this stock still i don't know why this stock is going up the outcome nifty bank nifty up 1.5% nifty it despite the fall in tcs up 0.6% because besides tcs everyone else was partying nifty energy nifty next 50 up 1.2 and 1.4% 
एफ आई आई बाय नंबर फोर्टीन थाउजेंड करोड़ टेक इट विद ऑफ सॉल्ट दैट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द रीबैलेंसिंग वन पॉइंट फाइव बिलियन डॉलर केम इन दैट वॉज अ वन टाइम फिनोमिना मेट फॉर टूडे I missed covering this news yesterday though I had mentioned it RBI lifts restrictions on IFL finance it was up 10% but then it cooled down towards the later part of the day gold is looking really bullish right now nearly 74000 silver today crossed 90000 the psychological barrier if the bull run in bitcoin continues you'll see 70000 in double quick time next week itself forex reserves were up for the fifth continuous week hit a record high that reflects in the currency strengthening Brent was up yesterday night to date fell Apple's party may get popped very soon the sales have started but if you are getting an iPhone within 10 minutes of the launch on the launch day then it is not a good news no surprise i say is that the top followed by Airtel HDFC Bank Lions M&M the list gets longer with HUL L&T Maruti JSW Steel all strong performers today the Lagards SBI Grasim TCS Bajaj Finance Indusind only six stocks were down today next 50 was even better and greener look at the fat percentage changes in the green the best performers were zomato irfc bajaj holdings bosch dlf despite the huge run up today cochin shipyard bdl garden reach are still in red mahindra and mahindra did get the inflows 6x volumes up 5.5% tcs down 0.3% rest all was green on it Today NTPC did not do anything, but the sector was up two percent. Nearly everyone was in a cheerful mood. Volumes were good. Reliance up one point one percent is always good news for the bulls. Nearly everyone except Oil India and MRPL was up. Reliance's volumes two and a half x. That's the largest company in India. Consumption pack perhaps was the best. Both sub sectors were up one point two percent and one point five percent. The tool I showed you in the initial part of video. was where this dashboard actually began banking was at the top in that list it did pretty well today automobiles was somewhere in the middle nearly everything green except tata motors chemicals was not doing well at all at that time and it was excluded how it has caught up pretty well today it was shining construction engineering was fantastic today it was at number 2 in the tracker today lnt was up 3% rvnl 6.7% paisa bazar and kfin were up a lot today Home building was not supposed to do well, and that hasn't done well at all. Oil and gas was at number two from the bottom. Not a single green entry here. Same with household goods, it is at the bottom in the tracker. No green entry here. Telecom sector actually, Bharti Airtel only matters, and that has gone up a lot. It was in the top five or six in the tracker. Overall, I would say the model has done well. Today's list was too long, so I had to create a board here. I sold partial stake in HL. It was up a little. This was still in loss. Mrs. Bactor, the profit was nearly ten percent. I sold it. It went up more. Warm beverages. I had bought a little for trading. That is because after the quarterly results, it fell a lot. I sold it off today. Minor profit only. When windfall tax was removed, I bought Reliance for trading, and that didn't work out that well. Today there was a little profit. I freed the capital. I tried the experiment with Hindustan Zinc around the dividend time. Today I sold it for little loss. Overall profit only if you equate it with dividend. KRBL was blocking a lot of my capital. I sold the remaining part of the portfolio also. I am trying to reduce a bit of microfinance in my portfolio. That is because that sector is not receiving government support at all these days. Page Industries again, I had bought a little for trading, which I sold. There is still remaining in the long term portfolio. Around the Disney deal, I had bought Network 18, but forgot to sell it next day. Then it became a loss, but I booked it to move forward. Britannia, just like Page Industries, I had some in the trading portfolio. From the investing portfolio, I sold three stocks: Bajaj Holdings. The entire Bajaj pack has gone up a lot, celebrating the new IPO. I think it is overdone, and it was time to book profits for now. Trend has gone up one to two percent every day. It is not sustainable. LNT was like family silver, but I feel that the result for LNT will not be good this quarter. I bought a little MRPL that is to average down. I still believe MRPL's results will be fantastic this quarter. Now what am I trying to do with all this selling because this has freed up some capital let me walk you through the thought process So there was a news earlier today LTI Mine Tree a key beneficiary of US rate cut now let's try and find ERP here interactive data cloud enterprise apps cloud consulting customer success low code cyber security data uh, digital engineering here is SAP this is the ERP part 
this entry is supposed to make them a lot of money i am not doubting the potential i am not doubting the company but if it was such a big thing it would have been a lot bigger on their website because marketing teams highlight what will create most revenue so basically everyone is just forecasting it to go up because of the rate cut no one has any solid reasoning on how that money will be created or made by the it companies just pump up the stocks for now and at some point you might see most of these funds have actually exited and you are stuck with the inventory so when i'm puzzled i do some analysis let's analyze gold after 2008 crisis it took a while for everyone to recover gold went up then gold fell gold became stagnant then pandemic gold went up stagnant now gold is going up again what does gold going up reflect something bad now i'll tell you one thing something bad like a recession that is never acknowledged when it enters your door people realize or acknowledge the recession when you are already 6 months or 8 months into it for example pandemic the lockdown happened when we were already in the middle of pandemic and that is where the stock markets fell let's look at silver after 2008 silver skyrocketed after 2020 pandemic silver skyrocketed silver is going up now what are these two data points indicating let's look at bitcoin after pandemic went up then came down then russia ukraine war and now it has been consolidating it has gone up 8 9% in the last 2 3 days what is this indicating let's look at crude 2008 just before the crisis it went up after the crisis it came down crashing once the recovery began some around 2010 then crude went up then crude consolidated this probably was the spanish crisis or the euro crisis then it went up pandemic it came down after pandemic it went up it has again come down considerably what is this data reflecting when economic revival is there crude will cross 120 again that data is not here yet these numbers are only around to enable good decisions they are not something that can with accuracy predict a bad time or a stock market crash so what i am i trying to do first of all i am trying to divide my portfolio into four chunks and i've been trying to do that for a while the first chunk is growth which is various forms of equity to take the portfolio up trading this is to create cash flow people who know me would know that i had took a break from paycheck last year in december so that is why trading is important for me because there is no salary for net new addition i need hedges for uncertainty and i need regular sources of income now let me take you through each of them growth wise long term equity listed equity which i talk about from time to time unlisted one i mentioned many times about my unlisted holdings these are the pre ipos that i hold significant quantity this is the swp video i recently released it has done pretty well and this is the next step in my portfolio i just don't know where to invest and at what time and right now research is going on i'll release a video once i'm done with my research and i've taken the decision for myself trading wise equity short term mid term i share every day what i'm trading in excess investment like i mentioned today varun beverages and all i bought in extra quantities i recently bought recpfc also in excess investments i'll sell off when the time comes till that time i am happy to hold them even if this becomes long term that is why a lot of my trading happens in investment grade stocks result trading is what i have freed up the capital for every quarter ahead of the results 10 15 days one month ahead i start taking positions based upon what i expect in the results and yesterday i mentioned i had run out of money so the money came out today fno on and off i have reduced a lot because recently i suffered a lot of losses and couple of days back some of you even pointed out to some rough edges which i need to polish for hedge i used to primarily use gold that too into sgb but ever since the duty was cut the sgb route seems to be ending so i have to consider gold etf also now and silver etf is something i started recently and i'll share the link if you have not watched the video but i have created videos i actually implemented that strategy where a significant money is parked in the sgbs maturing in november that is because i expect the markets to fall till november time in line with the us elections i don't know when it will fall i just parked the money to took it out from equity and the videos were created when the gold was below 60000 it is right now at 74000 the strategy was very clear make some money in gold and by the time stock markets will fall then you invest in stock market So if I invested at sixty thousand, it is at seventy five thousand level now. Then it is already twenty five percent profit. So that strategy has worked beautifully. I am happy with twenty five percent returns. If markets fall and I reinvest that money after it matures from SGB, and that too will be tax free gain. 
then it will get even sweeter because I'll get to invest into equity cheap. For income, I use NBFC bonds which give anywhere between 10 to 12, 13% interest. That's taxable at the rate of FDs. FDs, again, I'll share the link if, if you've not watched the video, but I use FD strategically, not for cash flow alone. I have taken overdraft on FD and that gives me a beautiful tool to use during stock market crashes when I intend to invest money for say two, three days, one week, 10 days. I use it well at the election time when the markets crashed on 4th of June. Let's see how this approach goes. I've taken the first step today by withdrawing some money out. Weekend is here. If any of these videos add value, do watch them. Let me know your feedback on the philosophy I'm trying to adopt in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.